Several years ago, I got tired of buying a new mouse for my computer on a regular basis, and I went out and bought one of these expensive gamer mouses, and they didn't hold up very well. So I looked up the uh, micro switches that the button use, and I bought those online. I changed them out. In fact, I have a video on that. I'll put the link in the description below. Yeah, so I, I changed out the buttons, and it lasted about as long as it did the first time, and I was a little disappointed, so I just went out and bought the cheap mouse. Um, and it lasted about as long, and then when it died, I went out and bought another gamer mouse. But in the meantime, I had learned some things that I thought I would share with you, is that um, not all of these micro switches are created equal. They have different properties. And the three main parameters for a mouse micro switch when you're in the market to buy them, well, the first one is, are the dimensions. So it's the length, the height, and the width of the, of the micro switch. The second one is the quality. And I never knew about quality before. It kind of makes sense. But yeah, it's the number of clicks that the mouse will do before it starts malfunctioning. Like you get a double click problem or it doesn't click. And they come in like 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 50 million. Some of them are 60, 65 million, 80 million clicks before you need to replace the switch. The cheap buttons, the cheap switches, like the ones I replaced in my expensive mouse, are about 10 million clicks, which may seem like a lot, but apparently it's not. And when you buy these, you need to check the manufacturer's specs because it turns out that the people who are selling these lie to you. I've seen this switch, which is rated at 5 million on the internet, rated at 10 and 20 million by the sellers. So, yeah. Then there's the force to activate. So that's the force it takes to push down on this little nib. And let's, I won't do a lot of math, but if we look at one Newton, Newtons don't mean much to most people, but it's about 100 grams of force. So a low force switch is 0.5 to 1.5 Newtons, and that would be around 51 grams of force for a 0.5 Newton switch. A medium force switch, 1.5 to 3 Newtons. So in the middle of that range at 2 Newtons, we have about 200 grams of force. That's starting to become appreciable. And then we have the high force switches from 3 to 6 Newtons uh, and even higher. And at six newtons, that's 611 grams of force. That's like a pound uh, or greater than half a kilogram. Yeah, so that's, that's a lot of difference. And if you look at the difference between like this switch up here and a six newton switch down here, and you click that a thousand times, your finger has moved 51 kilograms more with the heavy switch than with the light switch. So it is a huge difference. So yeah, pushing down this little nib a thousand times makes a big difference. Now there's some other features that don't usually apply to mouse micro switches. And we won't cover those like the bent legs, the 90 degree legs, the lever switches, the dust proof. So here's a dust proof version of one of these mouses, but dust proof might be interesting if you like eating around your computer. Some examples of these different uh, switches. At first, I thought this nib had to do with the, uh, with the, uh, um, what do you call it, the quality of the switch, how many times you could click it before it died. Turns out that the color is, it depends on the manufacturer also, it varies from one manufacturer to the next, but the color is indicative of the force required to push down on the nib. So, for example, Omron, which is a lower cost switch, uh, the D2FCF7N, rated at 5 million clicks, takes about 68 grams of force to click it. It is a black base with a white nib like we see over here. And this is one of them I've seen that uh, is rated 10 million to 20 million clicks, even though the manufacturer specs say 5. So again, buyer beware. The Omron D2FCFK is rated at 50 million. and it, ha it requires 60 grams of force, and it's black with a blue nib, like the photos over here. And the Omron D2 FC FK Razor Edition is rated at 60 million, I think. The best information I can get says about 60 million. It's a black with a green nib, like this. 
And this is why I didn't get the life out of my uh, mouth that I thought because I put in these and not these. On the higher cost switches, um, you have like Kale, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, like the GM2, you get 20 million clicks, uh, it takes 60 grams of force plus or minus 10. That means that's from 50 to 70, which is like, wow, okay. It has this turquoise, turquoise color scheme. Then they make a model 4.0, which is rated at 60 million clicks. 65 grams of force plus or minus 15. So that is what, 50 up to 80 grams of force. Wow, that's quite a variance. Okay, and that is the red. And then we have the KL8, 80 million clicks, 65 plus or minus, and it is a clear top with a clear top here, black nib, black base. And I won't go over all the major brands, but I just thought I would alert you to the fact that when you go to replace your mouse switches, there are at least three major things that you have to look at, which frankly I was unaware of when I did mine. Okay, well that was it. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home computing or electronics work.